Welcome back to another Apex Arena video, and in this video, we are going to go over how to utilize arenas to get better at Apex Legends overall. If there's anything you guys would like me to go over in future videos or Legends you'd want me to focus on, let me know in the comments below. So I've been seeing a lot of Twitter polls being put out by some major people who cover Apex Legends, asking their community if they still play arenas, and about 25-30% to 30 were saying they do, while the majority of players say they aren't really playing it anymore. I can understand if, you plat if you're plat or higher, if arenas isn't useful for you. So this video isn't for you. This video is for bronze all the way through gold. I think it's crucial for bronze through gold players to get reps in arenas before starting to grind ranked BR. I say this because I've been playing a ton lately and with all different types of players. Those who are vets and understand the game and legends combos and those who run around the map and think this is Borderlands or something. So in my time of playing, I've seen different levels of teammates bronze through gold, and it's a very mixed bag. One thing I want to go over is pushing. Stop taking super long range fights unless your shots are fantastic. You need to get up close and personal, because you may have a higher tier player that is going to just push and push fast, and also by dealing with high pressure situations and high pressure fights, and fast paced fighting, you can learn how to deal with third parties. or when to pull back and heal and let the team who is trying to third party push the team you were fighting before so you can clean up both of them while they are both weak. And arenas can prepare you for that as long as you push. I find a lot of players afraid to push in arenas, but you won't get any better if you keep playing scared. Also, if you have two buddies that you can run with, run with them and learn how to coordinate as a team. Learn how you can work together to decimate the other team. Also, if you are weak in an area like hip fire shots or long range shots, run with some friends and let them know what you're going to be trying to work on so they can play to fit that style so you can improve overall. Which leads me to a super important point and listen, this is, this is also for all you Wraith names out there. You know what I'm about to say, this is a team game. If you want to run solo, just solo queue into a match. You need to communicate and ping and stay together because that's the way you win fights. Is It's by staying together, it's by communicating, it's by you know pinging enemies, it's not by pushing 400 meters away from your teammates. So I've been saying in a bunch of videos I can't wait for the rank arenas. And that's true, but I hope it brings more players with higher skill to play with because I'll have one match where I'll have a solid team and then the next match a level 16 fresh account that I hope is a smurf and then come to actually find out it's a new player who can't hit a single bullet. Luckily, if I ever get one of those, it's just one player on my team and the other one is fine, but it still can be frustrating. One major thing you should do while playing in arenas as well is watch how other people play. Most people don't think about this while playing, but it will really improve your game sense and your ability to predict enemy movements and how to push and other types of pushing methods. So we're just gonna glaze over this round. This round, my teammates go down instantly. I don't know what in the world happened, but they just go down super fast, and then I end up getting team shot by the three other the three people on the other team. So this this round took all of like five seconds, so it's not even worth like showing. In this round, I throw down my ult so we can push and get some quick damage in. And it helps us down the Loba, which I'm pretty sure is why she quits out after this round. After I'm back at the totem, Bangalore pushes me and I know she can't hit her shots so I don't really panic. And I know that she isn't that smart either. If she was smart, she would have pushed from the other side and not pushed down the same path I ran away from that. But she's a bot so she pushes down right where I ran and I beat her.
in this last round we just clean up and I just instantly destroy this lifeline. Also, uh, <laughs> I also do something really dumb in this round. I go up the jump pad and I think one of those little, you know, Merv robots on top of the thing is a person. Um, I did not know there was a Merv robot up there until like literally that game, so that was super odd. But uh, interesting little touch that they have up there, it's kind of cool, but like also I start shooting at it like an idiot. But is there anything else you guys would like to hear or tips on in a future video? Like I said earlier, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 350 by the end of August. And we can use your help. Subscribing is free. And as always, have a good day. Cracked one with the arc star.